up guys Zoe here from OneGlanceTrader.com and welcome back to my Baby Pips Forex Education video series. Now if you missed any video in the series you can check out the link in the top right hand corner or click the link in the description. Now we're in grade 3 talking all about Fibonacci and in this video we're going to be talking about how to use Fibonacci retracements with support and resistance. Now, if you go into the tutorial, again, you can find the link to this tutorial uh, in the description. It talks about how you can use previous support and resistance lines as confirmation of a Fibonacci retracement point. Now, as with all the videos in this Baby Pips Forex Education video series, I try to scour YouTube and try to curate and find the best video for you that talks about this uh, subject in video format. And you may have noticed in the previous kind of videos is I've kind of been doing my own videos trying to show this. And that's because really... I don't like any of the videos that are on YouTube, to be honest, and I feel like I can do a better job to my audience or anyone new coming into the channel to kind of describe uh, certain tutorials. Now, I will continue to look to see if there's a better tutorial out there than for me doing it, but for this video, I've decided to use um, my own kind of guide uh, into, into how to do this. So, what I've got on the screen now is... Uh, my MT4 platform and I've got a Euro USD uh, 30 minute chart and what I've drawn I've drawn this uh, support and resistance kind of zone or area here in the white line and as you can see I've highlighted in this blue rectangles where you know of why I've decided to draw this line at this area for support and resistance and as you can see you've got some uh, support over here comes back up again you've got some more support down there again you kind of got some support but it breaks through and then it forms a bit of resistance then you go back up here you got a bit of resistance goes back down comes up breaks through uh, uh, the support and resistance line so I think that this is a valid support and resistance area and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this upward move and draw in a Fibonacci uh, retracement. So if I take that over here, I'll try to do it as best as I can from the high to the low. And again, you can check out the previous videos on uh, on everything to do with uh, Fibonacci. There we go there. So now what we're looking for here is, this is the upward trend. What we're looking for is where is price going to you know, potentially bounce off and retrace back, uh, uh, back into the uh, direction of, of the trend. And as you can see here, that when price made the high, it came back down and it was kind of flirting uh, with the 23.6 level. Um, came down over here. And then as you can see, as if by magic, that this support line that I drew before this kind of price action uh, even existed lined up perfectly with the 38.2 level now that's not to say that you would take a trade at this level uh, because price does go down to the uh, uh, to the 50 level but this here is a very strong indication of around between the 38.2 and the 50 there's a strong chance here that um, price could reverse from a downward move or to, uh, or in this case a pullback into the movement of the uh, uh, trend. Now what, again for those of you who watch all my videos you know I like to throw in a bit of uh, confirmation uh, and um, in this example it just turned out that um, we've got a buy signal here with the Japanese uh, kind of candlestick uh, pin bar pattern using my OGT price action indicator which is again 100% free links in the description to get that I'll throw some videos at the end of this video so you can learn about that as well um, but now you see now we've got three areas of confirmation of why this area here would be a perfect uh, buy entry you've got price at a support and resistance zone again support and resistance zone um, 
it's not a line it's a zone so it can go a bit above it doesn't have to touch it and it can go through it and then back up again so it is a zone that's one thing you got to remember and this is proof that it's a zone so that's point one of a confirmation uh, point two of a confirmation we got price interacting with a Fibonacci retracement level so the 38.2 and you could also argue the 50 as well and then thirdly we've got a price action candlestick pattern of a bullish pin bar also that formed uh, which then shows again another example that this would be a potential buy trade and as you can see price never looked back really uh, it went up in a, a massive a massive upward upward trend there so again that's an example of where you can use support and resistance with Fibonacci retracement level so what I suggest is if you're a fan of Fibonacci or looking to use Fibonacci and you see it you see an upward or a downward move and you draw your retracement levels just have a look back to the left to see if you can line up any of your support and resistance lines to any of these it's not going to be an exact science as with all these things um, but again as always as I say the more layers of confirmation and confidence factors you can overlay on these um, uh, on these moves then um, the better the higher the probability and the better the chances that your trade is going to be successful so you know what I suggest now is you have a look at the next video coming up now which will talk about my price action indicator as well but also check out the next uh, baby pits video as well if you're interested all the links will be in the description below so thanks